Oh no, hassle in the castle. And I figured we'd have an easy level for once. Oh well, hopes are crushed, dreams are destroyed. Well, let's see uh, what hassle we will run into. Well, there's Dantinis. Never happy to see those shooting bastards. Although that one didn't never got a chance to actually shoot. Which I suppose is good for me. Or Croc, however you wanna look at it. As long as he doesn't start laughing it up again. And of course he does right away. Well, screw it, I'm jumping off then. On to the bonus area. Yeah, you can kinda see that one coming when you approach the... Um, um, well, these kind of stairs. You saw it uh, beneath it. But judging it, uh, the jump is kind of tough. But just make a long jump and you should be okay. I wonder, can you actually get the extra life and jump across right away? Now, do I dare test that is the question. And the answer to that is, of course I do. Because I don't care if we fail. Well, I do, but, you know. Uh, ooh, well... There we go. It worked. So, whoa. Almost jump into the sparkly things. And I wouldn't have that. Because, you know, I want to I wanna actually get another extra life and try this again. Because I didn't fail the first time. <laughs> oh, that was close. Well, that was cool, actually. And 51 lives. Sweet, we've broken the 50. Nice. Uh, where do we go? Alright, oh, that's the uh, rating. Yeah, uh, kind of hard to see. Being all dark and the sun kind of shining into my screen doesn't help. But we managed to find it and we're on our way again. So sweet, 50 lives. I don't think I actually managed to uh, ever do that. So that's that's kind of cool. Now we will never reach 100 because there's not enough levels uh, or extra lives to actually do that unless you start grinding. But you know, 50 is still a nice amount. And there's some more uh, Mr. Dente, or although I do think this is his uh, sweet aunt, or maybe his granny, who knows? At least I hope it's not him. <laughs> and there he is again, being a douche to his underlings. Oh wow, funky. Yeah, you gotta love early 3D games. <laughs> Getting all weird. Anyway, let's move on and see what the next room holds for challenge. Okay. We can do the jumpy bits now. And I hear the cranky things from swinging. Yeah, there they are. Music in these levels is kind of interesting. I don't think it's as good as the desert stages, but it, it's, um, it's kind of mellow and has this kind of uh, sort of I inspired theme to it. I'm not sure how to explain it, but you know, it just reminds me of those uh, spy movies, kinda. In certain bits, at least. It also has a jazzy tune to it. Ooh, surprised I didn't get hit there. But yeah, it is enjoyable, and I wonder if I better go back for that lost gem. You never know if it's a color gem, and if it is... Oh, I missed it again. Come on. And it is a color gem. Well, good thing we went back then. But yeah, the music is pretty cool, I, uh, I think. But not as great as the um, um, desert stages, I don't think. But it's just, I don't know, it's real odd, kind of. Yeah, kind of saw that one coming. That lightning is just, it, I don't know, it feels kind of random to me. And I guess you can avoid it by jumping to that crumbling platform and then quickly jumping back to that platform. But I don't know, it, it's more trouble than it's worth in my opinion. So let's just move on. 
Speaking of uh, music, this music kind of reminds me of uh, Riders on the Storm from The Doors. Don't ask me why, because it, 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 the melody is totally different, but yeah, it just does. I, I think it's the uh, arrangement just in general, the, the, the um, instrument choices. And not this bit, but you know, the, the first bit. This lining is uh, less random to me. So it's easy to deal with. Uh, what's up with this room? Uh, okay, there's just two Dentinis over there, so I guess they're gonna shoot our... Uh, try to burn our ass, but, you know, as long as you keep running, no problem. And apparently they cannot hit us when we are in the corner, that's out of range. So that basically makes this room a cakewalk. And I am alright with cakewalks. Yeah, no problem with those. Now this could be a problem. Because that shooting Dantini... Whoa. Shoot. Thank you. Well, that uh, was easy enough. Yeah, that shooting bit can get tricky at times. Okay, and now we climb up here. And what do we find here? More shooting Dantinis. And this time over crumbling platforms. Oh, bring out your A-game now, huh, game? Well, let's see uh, how we handle this. Shouldn't be too hard because you have to move anyway here. Otherwise, you get... Wait. Did I miss a uh, gobo there? Oh good, I didn't. Because I know there is one uh, such exit where there's actually a box right at the end and I didn't bother to check. Okay, so this doesn't seem too hard. Just traverse the uh, bottomless pits and make more platforms appear. Okay, we can do that. Believe me, in, uh, in in these stages, especially the last couple of ones, they, um, the last sections, these bonus areas as it were, they become ridiculously hard. Uh, that's a bit overkill, Croc, but whatever. You do your thing. <laughs> Alright, this one can be a bit of a problem. Yeah, I was trying to wait there for him to shoot. Oh, that's actually not a falling platform. Okay, so basically what you need to do there, I guess, is jump, let him shoot, fall back, and then jump forward. Okay. Well, once again, I bring no gems to the... Uh, to the uh, exit. But, you know, you can't tell me you're surprised with a straight face. <laughs> anyway, guys, we have managed to break the 50 lives... Um, so that that's pretty awesome it's a new record for me at least I think uh, but uh, yeah let's see how how quickly I can waste them next time well actually next level we're probably only gonna gain more lives actually but to see that you will actually have to come back tomorrow and that time we all have a horrible time I assure you so until then guys take care and see you later